ahead and run that intro again. Back here, Rochester High School, about 20 seconds to go. We're going to get started with the JV contest. Rochester Zebras hosting the Southwood Knights in TRC conference play. We're going to have JV first. And if you weren't on earlier when we uh, first got on the air, we're only going to have a half for the JV as Southwood is kind of low on numbers tonight. And uh, they uh, decided that they were only going to be able to play half. So we'll have a half of a JV contest followed by the varsity. And we will uh, see how this goes. The Zebras varsity looking to uh, move to 2-1 and one in conference play. They've been looking really good last few games. So we'll see how this goes for them tonight. We're going to get the starting lineups for the JV teams. Of course, let's start with the visitors from Southwood. Keep it off. At this time, we'd like to meet the starting lineups. First, for Southwood. The overlay. Yeah, keep me live. Thanks. A five foot, four inch freshman, wearing number two, Aubrey Huffman. A five foot eight inch freshman, number 33, Aaliyah Dyson. A five foot eight inch sophomore, number 20, Lily Holmes. A five foot five inch freshman, rank number three, Hannah Garrison. And a five foot eight inch sophomore, number 23, Macy Barney. The Lady Knights are coached by Mr. Rock Cole. And now, let's meet the starters for your Zebras. At guard, a 5 foot, 2 inch freshman, number 3, Riley Levinger. At guard, Five six and a freshman, number ten, Dara Strasser. At a wing, five seven and a freshman, number twenty, Ella McCarter. At a forward, five foot nine inches and a freshman, number twenty five, Audrey Fuller. And at a wing, 5'3 and a freshman, number 40, Mia Hattishaw. The ladies' teams are coached by Mr. Phil Bowers. All right, so the Rochester Zebra starters for Coach Bowers, same as we've seen uh, most of the season, Riley Clevenger, Dara Strasser, Ella McCarter, Audrey Bullinger, and Mia Hattishaw. For the starters for Southwood, Aubrey Huffman, Aaliyah Dyson, Lily Combs, Hannah Garrison, and Macy Barney going to start for Southwood here. Tip is up in the air, and Southwood will control it.
And Hadeshell comes away with the loose ball, gets it back to McCarter, and the Zebras take over possession here, just getting underway from Rochester High School. JV half tonight only for Rochester and Southwood. Clevenger over the top to Mia Hadeshell. To Bullinger, back over, how to shell, three-pointer, good. Mia, how to shell for three. Turnover gives the ball back to the Zebras. 6.18 to go here in the first quarter. Riley Hollow Holloway. She's Riley Clevenger. Three more for the Zebras. So the Zebras lead 6-0 on two Clevenger three-pointers. Got a lot of stuff, uh, moving pieces here tonight. Sorry if I get a little distracted. We got uh, Damian and Kate over here learning how to do production, and we got Lily learning how to do camera for us tonight. Our ZBN crew kids are in the house and trying to uh, make sure that the, everything looks good there as well as the... Call of the game also. Just click off on that one. Yep, just leave that off. Don't worry about it. Strasser just inside three-point line. Shot is short. Rebound to the Knights. Pushing the ball quickly up the floor. So Bollinger picks up the foul, her first, team's first. It's going to send Macy Barney to the free throw line, shooting two here for the Knights. First one is off the back iron and no good. And one out of two for Barney. Puts the Knights on the board. The lead is five here for the Zebras. Strasser was looking for Bullinger. It was tipped. And they're going to say last touch, though, by Bullinger. It was tipped by Southwood, but then... No, they changed their mind. It was last tipped by Southwood. So Hadeshell going to inbounds. Gets it over to Strasser. That one is tipped out of bounds by number three, Hannah Garrison. Clevenger gets it in. How to shell pulls up right wing, passes back up top to Riley. McCarter pisses, passes on a three pointer. They get the uh, ball into Dara Strasser. She is going to get fouled. She will go to the line shooting two. That foul on number 33, Dyson, her first. Team's first. And that one off the back iron for the freshman, Dara Strasser. Second free throw, no good as well for Dara. And the rebound goes to Barney. Barney kicks it up ahead. All the way in, and the shot off the mark. Offensive glass that time by Dyson. Her shot no good. Rebound to the Zebras. Clevenger brings it across the timeline. Huffman giving her... A little pressure there. No problem for the freshman, Riley Clevenger. Clevenger has all six of the Zebras' points on two three-pointers. 
That pass into Bollinger, picked off. Dyson brings it across the timeline. McCarter picked up, helped with Clevenger. Strasser gets in the passing lane. So we have a timeout by Southwood. It's a 30-second timeout. So we're going to keep it here on the 30-second timeout as the uh, Southwood Knights want to talk things over. 4.07 left to go here in the first period. The Rochester Zebras leading 6-1 on two three-pointers by Riley Clevenger. Again, the uh, JV contest here is only going to be two quarters long tonight. The Southwood Knights have uh, some illness and things going on where they don't have uh, their full complement of players. So we will have two quarters of uh, JV action, and then we will have our varsity contest following that. Out of the Knights timeout here, the Southwood will have the ball. Huffman drills up top, kicks it over on the right wing to Barney. Barney kicks it over to Combs. Clevenger on Combs. Strasser with really good defense that time on Huffman. And Bollinger with some good defense as well, and she causes the turnover. Barney going to get called on the travel. Strasser's pass in was deflected. Looked like it might have been a kick, but no, was not called. Nice crossover. McCarter gets into the paint, kicks it back up to Hattishell. Hattishell over to McCarter. McCarter is going to take one from 13, and she will be fouled. Ella McCarter going to the free throw line for two shots. And a Garrison on the foul for Southwood. Ella McCarter shooting two free throws. And good on the first. Second free throw. Good as well. Two for two for McCarter. Seven-point Zebra lead, 8-1 with 3.19 to go here in the first. Dyson gets it over the top to Huffman. Huffman back over to Dyson. Pass inside to Dyson. Bullinger with some really good interior defense that time. McCarter tips it away. Back up top. Three-pointer on the way. Top of the key. No good. Huffman just quit on it, and McCarter is able to save it, but it goes right back to the Knights. And we've got a foul coming up on Rochester. I'm not sure if he's going to get Bullinger or... If he's going to get how to shell, looks like how to shell going to get called on that foul. Her first. Emily Viger and Elizabeth Weaver checking into the game for the Zebras. How to shell and Bowling are going to take a break. Dyson with Weaver, now the switch. Clevenger has her inside. That goes between McCarter's legs. And the foul coming before the shot. Barney gets fouled. Zebra foul, 20, McCarter, her first. That foul is on Ella McCarter, her first. Third team foul on the Zebras. Dyson has it. Looks like she changed pivot feet. No call. 
That jumper no good. Rebound. Southwood able to come away with it, but losing it out of bounds. Macy Barney not able to corral that one, so Zebras will get the ball back under two minutes to go here in the first. Carter passed up a three, drives baseline. Good defense there by Barney. Goes back out, takes the baseline three. Shot off to Mark Dyson on the weak side with the rebound for the Knights. Quickly ahead, Huffman pushes it up. McCarter stops her. Clevenger goes down. And it's going to be out of bounds. Off of Rochester, so it will be... Southwood ball. Savannah Eccles checks into the game for Dara Strasser. Dyson left wing three. Good. Aaliyah Dyson, 5'8 freshman, puts in three for Southwood. And good defense there by Huffman. Able to come up with the steal. Gets it over. Dyson left hand. Good. Five in a row now for Dyson. And the lead is down to two for the Zebras with under a minute to go here in the first. Lob over the top in the Weaver. Left hand jumper no good. Rebound to Combs. Pushes it ahead to Dyson. She has the last five points here for Southwood. Right wing three is short. McCarter gets, uh, not sure what happened there. Looked like she might have got a little help going out of bounds, but they're going to give the ball over to Southwood as McCarter lands on the out of bounds of the baseline there. Dyson was trying to pull up for a free throw shot. Jump ball, and it's going to stay Southwood. Knights will inbounds here. Baseline left. Barney looks to trigger it in. Combs gets it over to Huffman. Trying to get it back over to Huffman, and Clevenger is going to tie up Huffman, so it will be Rochester's ball. Checking in is number 14, Lily Watson. Twenty seconds left here in the first, and a reach-in foul on Huffman is going to be called her first. Team's third. Team's third. Oh, nice pass inside on the cut. Not able to put it in. And that's going to do it after one. Rochester leads the Southwood Knights 8-6. We can call that after the first half, I guess, first quarter normally, but uh, tonight we're only playing two Back quarters. Here as we move into the second quarter slash second half of the JV contest, starters back out on the floor for Rochester, checking in for Southwood at the break. Quinn Clawson, 5'9", freshman, number 25, has checked in. And a travel called on Huffman. We'll give the ball back over to Rochester. Again, one more time, if you just joined us here on Channel 4 tonight, the JV contest, nice pass. What a nice pass. Strasser not able to put that one in, but McCarter with a beauty of a pass. Clevenger to Bullinger, the assist for Riley Clevenger, and Bullinger puts it in her first bucket of the evening. We're just doing a half of JV, so we're uh, halfway through our JV contest tonight. The Southwood Knights numbers uh, down as they have some illnesses. 
and uh, girls not available, so they're just doing a half of a JV. So we'll finish that off here in about six minutes and move into uh, varsity prep with uh, WROI coming up here on RTC TV4. Dyson with uh, Strasser playing some tight defense there. How to shell pokes it away. Bowling are able to come up with it, gets it over. Clevenger then handles it, brings it across the timeline here for the Zebras. Strasser wraps around back out to Clevenger. And good job that time. Huffman able to get it away from Strasser. Dyson poked away from behind by Clevenger off of McCarter back up, and Strasser has. A breakaway in and out for Strasser. Loose ball, and it's going to be a jump. And the arrow points to the Zebras. Zebras for Southwood, number 20, Lily Combs. Number 20, Lily Combs checking back in for the Knights. Garrison going to take a break. McCarter just inside three-point line, short with that shot. Quickly up ahead, but too far. Dyson can't get it before it goes out of bounds. 5.29 to go here in the game. 10-6. Rochester has the lead. A little full court pressure here by Southwood. Carter brings it across the timeline. Gets it over. How to shell. Nice rip through. Gets it around Huffman. Riley Clevenger, right wing, three long. Strasser saves it. And it goes out of bounds off of, uh, I guess he said it, but he didn't show us, so uh, uh, Rochester's going to get the ball. Clevenger, right wing, three-pointer, no good. Dyson with the rebound, but she loses the handle. Clevenger into the paint, Euro step, and one, Riley Clevenger. Beautiful Euro there by the freshman. Puts it in and one free throw coming up here for Clevenger. That foul on number 20, Combs, her first. 12-6 now, Zebras with the lead. Free throw off the mark for Clevenger, coming back the other way, just inside the three-point line. That shot short for Huffman. Rebound to Bollinger. How to shell. One dribble, McCarter inside three-point line, shot off the mark, rebound. Stolen by Clevenger, into Bollinger, two more for Bollinger. Four points. The lead is eight. Clevenger putting all kinds of pressure on Huffman going up the sideline. Now a double team. Jump ball called. It will stay with Southwood. Southwood inbounds. Far sideline. Combs kicks it back up top, just outside the free throw line. I think that was uh, altered by the Zebras' defense. And a travel called as two uh, Southwood players were fighting over the ball, and they both went to the floor. Ball back over to Rochester. Some full court pressure here by the Knights, though. Quickly ahead to McCarter. Nice job there. She had a streaking Bollinger but a good job of getting back and recovering by number 20, Lily Combs. Clevenger just under four minutes to go. Was looking for McCarter and not able to get it to her. Pass goes out of bounds. Southwood will retain the ball. And good defense there by Clevenger comes up with a loose ball. Clevenger into Bullinger. Bullinger thought about an up and under. Kicks it back out. Clevenger runner in the lane off the back iron. Loose ball. 
Hadashell comes away with it. Hadashell works into the lane. Oh, nice wraparound pass. Hadashell in the Boinger and the bucket. Some Bollinger with the beauty of a pass from How to Shell. The and one off the back iron and gets the roll. Did we play it? All right, so we have a 60 second Rochester timeout. If you guys want to queue up a uh, 30, an ad here. We'll be back here in a minute on RTC TV4. All right, welcome back here, Rochester High School, 3.32 to go in the JV contest. If you hear a little extra activity in the background there, I'm working with the uh, ZBN kids tonight and training them up on how to do productions and run the camera and all the uh, scoreboard and everything with our software. So might uh, might have a little bit of that that you catch. Oh, wrong bucket. Basket counts, closest zebra player was McCarter. So uh, McCarter going to get credit for that as the Southwood player puts it in the wrong bucket. 19-6 now in favor of the Rochester Zebras. Just a little confusion there coming out of the uh, timeout by the Knights. And they're going to call a traveling as uh, Bollinger goes down to the floor. Southwood's going to have it here, 3.05 to go. Gets it into Dyson. Clevenger from behind, not able to get the ball away from Dyson, pushes it up ahead. And the shot and the foul, Barney going to go to the free throw line for the Knights. That foul on uh, Bullinger, that's uh, her third. I think we're only playing a half of a game. And the first bucket is in for Barney. She has two points on two of three from the free throw line. Number 31, Sydney Lamb. 35, Keaton Doran. And 42, Emily Viger. Watson, Lamb, Doran, and Viger into the game for the Zebras. Dara Strasser, the only one that stays on the floor. That pass poked away by Huffman. And the layup is good for the 5'4 freshman, Aubrey Huffman. Up ahead to Lamb. Kicks it over, Strasser. Strasser kicks it over to Watson. And she was going to be fouled by... Number 20, that's Lily Combs, and that is her second. And that ball is saved. Right into the hands, though, of Huffman. Her shot off the mark. Lamb takes it away. And she is one-on-one -on -one with Huffman. And she will be called for a travel. And returning to the court for Rochester, number 40, Mia Hadeshell. Mia Hadeshell going to check back in for Keaton Doran.
Watson tips that one out of bounds. Minute 44 left to go here. That one tipped out of bounds by Mia Hadashell. Southwood will inbounds here on the near sideline into Dyson. Viger with good de defense there on Dyson. Lamb playing Barney tough. Kick it back up top to Garrison. How to shell gets down on the floor and ties it up. Zebras will get the ball back with the excellent hustle play there by Mia How to shell. Strasser handling the point for the Zebras. And Huffman's going to get called for the personal, her second. Just under a minute to go here in the JV contest. Out of shell, inbounds it to Strasser. Strasser's pass is tipped and stolen by Huffman. And it will be tipped out of bounds off the Zebras. 19-9. Rochester with the lead, 43.9 seconds left here in the ballgame for the JV contest. And off the glass, Aubrey Huffman, 4-2. How to Shell gets it into Strasser. Back up top, How to Shell. Huffman playing some good defense there on How to Shell. Kicks it over. Into the corner. Huffman is going to tie up how to shell. Southwood will get the ball back. And 1.9 to go. The inbounds tipped out of bounds by Huffman. Zebras will try it again with 1.1. And that's going to do it. The Zebras win 19-11 here in two quarters of var uh, junior varsity play over the Southwood Knights. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask all who are able, please rise. Gentlemen, kindly remove your caps for the playing of our national anthem.
And good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Rochester High School for tonight's Three Rivers Conference matchup with the Southwood Lady Knights. At this time, we'd like to meet our starters first for Southwood. At a guard, five foot, seven inch junior, wearing number five, Ella Popper. At a forward, five foot, seven inch junior, number 14, Elena Weiner. At forward, five foot, eight inches, and a junior, number 22, Aliyah Sweet. At a forward, five foot, nine inches, and a senior, number 24, Bailey White. And at forward, a 5'9 freshman, number 25, Quinn Foster. The Lady Knights are coached by Mr. Kenneth Norman. And now, let's meet the starters for your Lady Zebras. plays out here tonight. Right. Well, you know, same thing. They're, they're, they're all playing well. I mean, that's, you know, coaches say sometimes you don't want to lose your starting spot because of injury, but if the team's playing well, I mean, it's not like she's not going to play, right? Right, right. And they want to make sure she's healthy. So, uh, but if you could just ease her into things and then, you know, just keep playing. I mean, that's, that's fine. But we'll see. The interesting tip, Lineman. Check this one out. I don't think we've ever seen this. No. All of Southwood players are uh, to their their zebra basket side. Yeah. They're anticipating apparently the zebra's getting it. Score zone to jump. And it is controlled by Southwood. Southwood has the basketball. And that will be Wyatt. She fires a three right off the bat. No pass. Just dribbles right down. Fires up a shot. No good. Rebound comes to the zebras. Zebras push. Callie Watson down low to Jackson off the block. No good. Rebound tipped around. Picked up by Southwood. Picked up by Weiner. Weiner has it. Weiner will bring it across the timeline. Now she'll give it off to Wyatt. Wyatt on the left side. Wyatt with the basketball. Wyatt comes in the near side. That is 22 sweet. Uh, I'm going to call this sweet with a layup. Up and good. I'm going to call that an inverted triangle in two. Sweet goes around. The defender goes up. It's tipped out of bounds by Hopper. It may, be, it may be a little bit of a hybrid where there are two that are definitely face guarding, and it's too early to tell if, they're, if the three are actually playing man-to-man -man or if it just happens to be a, a triangle and two-ish kind of thing. We'll see. They go into Millie score zone in the middle. Now to Burkett. She'll bring it across the timeline. Burkett will drive down low, kick it back out. Now she gives it to Jackson, top of the key. Back to Burkett. Burkett with the basketball left side now to Watson. Seven minutes to go here in the first quarter. 2 nothing Southwood on the, uh, excuse me, on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Holloway with the basketball. Goes to the score zone. Can't control it, but picked up by Watson. Watson penetrates. Free throw line jumper on the way. Way off the mark. No good. Rebound fought for. Jackson comes away with it, but she's going to have an offensive foul. She kind of pushed off, and that will be the first foul of the contest. 
Yeah, just got to understand, like we've said before, uh, one of the tougher girls I think there are to officiate is Kennedy Jackson just because she's so strong, right? And usually there's a mismatch, and because she's so strong, she doesn't fall down, but the other girls do. Wyatt with the basketball now goes to Sweet. Sweet right wing. Sweet against Holloway. Goes down in the middle. Turns around, throws it back out to Hoppert. Hoppert penetrates. Goes down low. The layup up and good by Wyatt. 4 nothing. Southwood. That's one of the fears when you play kind of a special or gimmick defense is you're so confounded on, on two or one player that it's if they're a good passer, the other players get wide open shots. Three for Burkett on the way. No good. Rebound. Comes to Clawson and Southwood. Clawson gives it off to Hoppert. Hoppert picked up by Watson in the backcourt. Hoppert goes around her. Goes off to Sweet. Sweet. Three ball on the way. Good. 7 nothing now. Southwood. Six minutes to go here in the first quarter. Burkett then tries to split the defense, and she's going to be fouled. Changing the defense, that's that's the other thing you risk, too, is you're playing so well on a couple defenses, and when you do something a little bit different, right? we talked about yeah. staying in your mojo yeah. as a team. Uh, sometimes, I've been there myself, right? You can <laughs> overthink it sometimes, and uh, that's always a fine line you walk as a coach. Rory bounce back up to Holloway. She drives it down low, hits the score zone, and it's stripped from behind. Southwood with the basketball. Sweet has it. Sweet going coast to coast. Throws up a shot. No good, but a foul coming. If that's on Jackson, that's going to be her second. And it is. Yeah. Well, you know, the bugaboo, that was the the sort of the one. Of course, they did shoot 5-10 from free throw line, but the <laughs> one thing from the Culver game was too many fouls, right? And that continues on, and, and Jackson, they both have to be smarter because you knew the girl was going to the rim. Get in position, they just yeah. both kind of stood and reached. So Jackson will be out, and Thomas will make her reappearance for the first time in a couple weeks. So Lexi Thomas back into the contest. She'll drop down low at the block for the free throw. Burke will come out. Second free throw on the way for Swede, and it is no good. Thomas with a rebound. 8-0 with 540 to go here in the opening quarter. Six early points for Swede. She averages nine. Randy Wayne, Tony Stasiak, glad you could join us here tonight. Burkett with the basketball. Burkett goes around the screen. Goes off to Holloway in the corner. Holloway penetrates. Drops it down low to Thomas. She kicks it back out to Watson. Watson loses control. Burked up by Burkett. Back up top to Holloway. They're trying to get it down low to Thomas. They can't uh, get that angle pass that they need. And Watson will reset the offense. Man to man by Southwood. Tom Watson kicks it out to Holloway. Holloway in the corner. Dribbles down low to score zone. Throws up a shot. No good. Rebound fought for, and Southwood steps on the out-of-bounds line. It'll stay with the Zebras. Yeah, Millie's got to keep the ball high, right? Got to keep the ball high, got to see the target. Uh, she had good footwork the other night. Uh, a little bit of a struggle here this early. Sid Hawes comes in for the first time tonight for Millie's score zone. She'll sit down. 5.04 to go on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. 8 nothing. Southwood. Riley Holloway, three from the corner, no good. Thomas with the rebound. Thomas turns around, throws it up off the glass. Good. Lexi Thomas gets the Zebras on the board with two, and it's 8-2. to two. It's nice when you can be a 13-point-per-game scorer off the bench. Hopper goes coast-to-coast, coast, one-handed layup, up and good. 10-2. to two. Southwood's quick and not messing around. Burkett with the basketball. Out to Holloway. Three in transition. Off the mark, no good. Rebound comes to Watson, but a foul coming. Five black. Hopper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that, that would be. That would be nice for the Lady Zebras if you can get Hopper in foul trouble. Nice job by Alexi Thomas to, to uh, put, get in position to get that, and Hopper just tried to go over the top. Inbounds pass to Thomas. No good. Rebound fought for, and comes away Southwood. Weiner with the basketball. Quickly ahead to Sweet. Sweet in the corner to Hopper. Hopper back to Sweet. Sweet up off the glass. No good. And Sid Hawes rips the rebound. Now to Watson. Watson will bring it across the timeline. Watson goes to the right side. Stops, pops, off the glass, in and out, no good. Rebound comes away to Weiner. Weiner with the basketball. Now in the corner to Hoppert. She'll penetrate, pull up jumper. Off the mark, no good. Sid Halls with the rebound. The one thing you got to look out for, too, with Watson face guarding Hoppert is she's also a ball handler and your best shooter. Yeah. It takes a lot of energy to chase and face guard. Watson. <laughs> With the basketball, Zebras down 10-2 to two with 3.40 to go here in the first quarter. Into the corner to Burkett. Burkett passes back to Hawes. Hawes in the right wing. Hawes gets a screen by Thomas. She leaves it for Burkett on the right wing. Burkett 
Top of the key to Watson. Three on the way for Cali off the mark. No good. And the rebound comes away to Southwood. Wyatt with the rebound. Gives it off to Hoppert. Hoppert spin move at the volleyball line. Pull up jumper blocked by Watson. And it'll go out of bounds. Nice job by Callie to stay focused and uh, coming off, yeah, coming it. off that screen, fighting yeah. through traffic and being able to recover and staying on her feet, getting a block shot. She didn't, she didn't leave her feet. She just contested it. Eaton uh, comes in and Burkett will sit down. Three sixteen to go here in the first quarter. Ten to two, and an inlet pass comes into Southwood, stolen by Hawes. Sid with a steal, gives it off to Eaton. Eaton and now will bring it across the timeline. Eaton goes to the right side, looking for Watson. Gives it to her on the right wing. Watson will dribble around the screen by Thomas. Penetrates, throws up a shot off the mark. No good. And last touched by Hawes. It'll go to Southwood. Yeah, definitely the, the pace of play is in the favor of Southwood. Yeah. They've got, Southwood's got Rochester playing their style, which is just kind of up in the court, up and down the court, a little frenetic. This is not the same Zebra team. This is more of the Peru team so far in terms of just they're not right. – there's no rhythm right now. Zebra's back in the man-to-man. That is Weiner with the basketball. Weiner goes up. Thomas blocks it, takes it away from her. And here comes Watson. Watson quickly ahead to Thomas and in traffic and can't control yeah. it. Once again, though, good block by Thomas. Didn't yeah. leave her feet, right? right. Just walled up and, uh, you know, was able to get that block. And 2.35 to go here in the opening quarter. 10-2. Southwood on top of the Zebras. On the Rochester Glass scoreboard. That's Wyatt with the basketball. Picks up her dribble. Gives it off to Hoppert. And Watson's going to pick up a foul. Trying to go for the basketball. Her first team's third. That's the thing. You know, you're trying to keep her from getting the ball. Right? You're going to play the passing lanes because Hopper can't score. She doesn't have the ball. Burkett will enter for Watson. And this is where having Lexi is going to help because now you have an eight-person rotation, right. and if you're going to chase a, one or two players, you're going to have to rotate those guards that are doing that. And looking to get it in. Sweet inbounds it and picks it up. Does Wyatt. Wyatt on the far side. Excuse me, that's Clawson. And Southwood wants a timeout. It's a full timeout with 2.17 to go here in the first quarter. Southwood 10, Rochester 2 on the Rochester Glass Scoreboard. Back with more after this. Giant FM Sports and RTC TV 4. How is Alliance Bank different from the rest? We're secure. We provide solutions to our clients. We have integrity. We stand by our word. We're responsive. We invest in our communities. We're reliable. We believe in our team. The difference is we are your community bank. At Alliance Bank, we're in this together. School 217 remains here in the first quarter. Zebras find themselves down eight and uh, really no flow to the offense. Yeah, and even though Southwood took the timeout and his full timeout, I think that's appreciated by Coach <laughs> Jennings to not have to burn one, but kind of I don't know if it's calm everybody down or refocus everybody yeah. a little bit, but let's make some tweaks and some adjustments. A lot of game left. Quinn Clausen with a turnover, she shuffles her feet. So a turnover for Southwood. The Zebras will have it, and here comes the full-court pressure right. by Southwood. Simple diamond press. Burkett has it. Back to Hawes. Hawes to Holloway right in front of the Zebra bench. Break in the middle. Needs somebody in the middle. Needs right. somebody in the yeah. middle. And they don't, and they yeah. throw it away. You're right. Get somebody in the middle, and also don't leave your wingman yeah. or teammate, right? You can't. When you have three people up in the, in the front of the diamond, you can't beat that with one dribbler. Southwood has it on the far side. They get it into Wyatt. Wyatt has the basketball. Wyatt, right wing. Wyatt trying to get it to Hopper. Can't do so. Now she hands it to Hopper. Hopper around the screen. Pull back. Step back. Shot on the way. Partially blocked. Picked up by Southwood. That shot goes wild and picked up by Eaton. 
Eaton will bring it across the timeline herself. Eaton with the basketball. Left side now to Holloway. She'll fire the three ball. Good. 10-5. Just a five-point lead now yep. for the Southwood. Good to get Holloway going. She's had outstanding scoring games the last couple. Wyatt with the basketball now to Weiner. Weiner will drive to the basket, throw up a shot, got the roll. 12-5. Four of the five Southwood starters have scored now. Burkett quickly ahead to Thomas. Lexi Thomas to the hole. Pull-up jumper. Good to, to go. I thought maybe it was going to roll wow. out, but it did fall through, and it's 12-7. Always like the jump stop there to get yourself gathered and get an angle. Wyatt with the basketball. Wyatt picks up her dribble, gets it off to Weiner. Weiner will go to the hole. She leaves it down low for Clawson, and she travels. Good Score. thing the Lady Zebra's rotation now defensively just, yeah. just out of whack there. It's, uh, you know, you stop the ball handler. Somebody's got to rotate back, and they're, they're getting one stop, but that help the helper stuff's got to be a little bit tighter on the Zebra's end. Score zone in, and Eaton will sit down. Sweet back into the contest for Southwood. Pass, try to go down low to score zone. is stolen. Here's Southwood with the basketball. Three on oh, the way, no good. And a foul from behind as she was shooting three. Don't foul three-point shooter. And that one's coming on score zone. Her first, team's fourth. So that will send the 5'9 senior, Bailey Wyatt, to the line to shoot three. With 48 seconds remaining here in the first quarter, she misses the first one. She's got two more. Randy Went, Tony Stays, yeah, guns, you can join us here tonight. Giant FM Sports and RTC TV 4. And Wyatt we'll makes the second one. We'll see if free throws determine. South with a good free throw shooting team, they're at 68%. We talked about the Zebra struggle, they're right at 50%. She makes the second one, two out of three for Wyatt, and it's back to a seven point lead for Southwood. 14 7. 44 seconds remain. Burkett with the basketball. Burkett turns and just tosses it. Luckily, Thomas was right there. Now she gives it off to Holloway. Holloway on the right side to Burkett in the corner. Dribbles back up top. Burkett back in the corner to Holloway. 30 seconds to go here in the first. Holloway with the basketball. Holloway, top of the key. Dribbles to the near side. Now leaves it for Sid Hawes. Hawes with it. Head fakes. Goes around the screen by score zone. And finally a hand check call. Weiner, her first, only the team's second. Sorry, third. I don't know. I missed one somewhere. One, two, That's three, why these somewhere. stats are always unofficial. 17.8 seconds to go here in the quarter. Score zone gets the inbound pass Nothing. and partially blocked. It'll go out of bounds. Nice touch by Southwood. Stay with the Zebras underneath their basket. And Millie just kind of flat-footed that one. Didn't really get yeah. a jump. Yep. Hawes inbounds to Burkett. Burkett back to Hawes. Down low to Thomas. Thomas. Oh, dribble. And the up and under, mm. and she's fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Yeah, I thought she used her dribble a little too early on yeah. that, but she was going forward to the basket, so she gets the benefit of the call there. She'll shoot two free throws with 10.5 seconds remaining here in the opening quarter. Again, 14 to 7. Lexi, the first free throw on the way, hard off the back of the iron. She'll have a second opportunity. All right, tough to get that offensive rhythm and usually the shooting touch when you sit out extended games. Sometimes that shooting touch, then, of course, game speed stamina will be big for her tonight. Second one much better, and it's at 14-8. to eight. Southwood with the basketball. Southwood's Wyatt has it. Wyatt, for two seconds, throws up a shot. No good. Thomas with the rebound, and that's going to do it for the quarter. At the end of one complete quarter. It is 14 to 8, Southwood over the Zebras on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Back with the second quarter after this. Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4. Number 20, excuse me, 21, McKenna Yachts. And for Rochester returning, number 10, Callie Watson. It'll be Zebra basketball over the second quarter. As we start the second quarter, it'll be Zebra basketball. Hawes will inbound to Burkett. Burkett has it across the timeline. Zebra's trail, 14-8. to eight. Burkett goes around the hall screen to the right side. Watson has it. Watson 
We'll dribble back to the middle. She leaves it out to the left side. Now to Holloway. Holloway back to Burkett. Burkett double teamed and she dribbles out. Back to Holloway. They're trying to go down low to Millie. They can't get it to her. Great defense by Southwood. The in and out from score zone to Holloway. Off the mark. No good. Rebound fought for. Sid Hawes comes away with it. Watson fakes the three. Puts it on the floor. Dribbles in. Kicks it back out. Now to Holloway on the right wing. Top of the key is Watson. She'll reset the offense. Swings it left side now to Hawes. Hawes. Bounce pass in. It's stripped away. Picked up by score zone. She throws it back out. Picked up by Watson. Southwood playing zone now. Score zone goes up. A foul coming. She'll yeah. go to the line to shoot two. And you want to get the ball inside. Sometimes it takes a while, right? Yeah. You don't want to force it in there. you got to move the ball, make the zone work, and then those gaps will open up, and then so will the inside pass. That foul is on 20. Combs for second. Team's fifth. Score zone's first free throw. Hard off the back of the iron. No good. And again, the free throw woes yeah. for the Lady Zebras. I mean, now it's magnified, right? right. If you're trailing in a game, it's even worse because you have the opportunity to catch up. But if you split or go for two, you're not making near any headway. Misses the second one as well. And the rebound comes away to Southwood. Hopper with the basketball. Hopper. Throws it over to Wyatt. Wyatt then travels. Yep, there it is. Yeah. Southwood turnovers are, are keeping zebras in it, yeah. right? It's got to take advantage. They're, Southwood's keeping the door wide open. They just can't get the, the points on the other end to convert. Full court press again by the Southwood Lady Knights. 6.45 to go here in the first half. Holloway in transition. Throws up a shot. No good. Score zone gets the rebound, and she's going to be, nope, yeah. foul underneath. Okay. Fortunate there that you don't want to dribble that, right? Millie's getting in the habit of putting the ball on the floor all the time, and you don't want to do that, especially when you're that close and you got a size advantage. Team six foul for Southwood, so the Zebras will shoot the remaining six and a half. The inbound pass comes to score zone. Jump shot up and good. Again, just not. She's real flat footed. That one just barely made it over the front yeah. of the iron. Well, Millie doesn't have a jump shot per se, but sometimes she's got more lift in the yeah. legs than others, and uh, a little flat footed tonight. And coming back into the contest will be Weiner. Sweet will sit down. 14 to 10. Southwood on top of the Zebras with 6.27 to go here before halftime on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. They're looking to get it in. They finally do to Wyatt. Wyatt has it. Top of the key. Wyatt still dribbling. Now picks up her dribble. She goes off to Weiner. Weiner now. Weiner. Left side. Now to Hoppert. Hoppert behind the arc. Gives it off. To Combs. Combs back to Hopper. Hopper against Burkett now. Six minutes to go here before halftime. The screen comes. Nice switch by Holloway, but unfortunately just got in Hopper's way and ran her over and picks up a foul. Right. I think that's an effective strategy. I think when they set ball screens, I think you do want to jump and, and if, if not trap, at least I think switch that hard. So you just got to not reach. <laughs> Excuse me. 14 10 here in the first half. Zebra's trail by four. Wyatt with the basketball. Now goes off to Combs. Combs back up to Hoppert. They reset the offense. Ball screen's coming for Hoppert. Hoppert around the left side. Steps back. Nice job by Watson to, to close out. No shot available for Hoppert. Right side now Wyatt. Wyatt. Top of the key now to Weiner. Weiner has it. She'll dribble in. Goes up a shot. No good. Watson had the rebound, but motiv yeah. the, the momentum just took her out of bounds, and it'll stay with Southwood, but great job by Watson to go get that. 5.27 to go here in the second quarter, 14 to 10. Zebras trail to Southwood. TRC action here from Rochester High School. Hoppert has the basketball. Hoppert in Sid Halls is going to get a reach in. Stood still, reached in right in front of the official, and you're going to get that call every time. Yeah, easy call there. Fortunately, no. it's only Sid's first, but it's team six, so right. Southwood will be shooting free throws. You never want to do that. Both teams now with six fouls, so everybody's shooting free throws for the remaining 5-20. Wyatt, top of the key, goes to the right side. Picks up her dribble. Now goes off to Combs. Combs with the basketball. Now back to Hoppert. Swings the left side. The give and go back to Hoppert, and it goes over her head. Ball's loose on the floor, and it'll be a tie-up. It'll stay with Southwood. 
you want some context in terms of how valuable Hoppert is to their offense, Hoppert has attempted 148 shots this year. The leading shot taker for the Zebras is Riley Holloway at 82. Whew. Big difference. Yeah. Pass comes over the top. It goes to Sweet. Sweet has it now on the right wing. And Southwood's only played seven games. We played nine. So she's also <laughs> done that. If you go per game, it's even more. Hopper, step back three on the way off the mark. No good. Rebound comes away to Holloway. Holloway pushes with 4.45 to go here in the first half. The Hawes in the right wing. Down low to score zone. Millie up and oh. no good. Wave it off. An offensive foul against score zone. Boy, looked like it was going to be... An open shot, yeah, but you know, didn't feel anybody. Just turned around and yeah. Combs was right there. Such a violent contact. I... And the score zone will pick up her second, so she'll sit down. Lexi Thomas into the contest. I mean, I don't know. She, you're supposed to be established guarding position. I mean, nobody's around her. Then no, you know, because I think it's Hopper quickly down the other end throws up a shot, no good. Rebound comes back to Southwood. Back to Hoppert. Hoppert, top of the key, now to Weiner. Weiner has the basketball. Weiner picks up her dribble, goes to Combs. Combs loses it. Combs, balls loose, and it. Yeah. travel. Yeah. And, okay, well. I think she might have got hit either in the nose or the eye. They call the travel. Christina Hughes out to uh, take a look at her. 14-10. Zebras trail by well, four. I mean, there's been a lot of contact. We hope she's okay, but there's been a lot of contact. I mean... We'll take a quick timeout. Yep. 4.15 to go here in the first half. 14-10 Southwood. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, Giant FM, and RTC TV 4. Back here at Rochester High School, and the injured player is Lily Combs, a 5'8 sophomore. And she's walking off the floor in her own own strength. So yeah, and it look, also looks like too, you know, her her I'm guessing father, somebody yeah. came down and, and had an inhaler. So I don't know if she's asthma that added yeah. to some of that. Add, added some to it. Yeah. So the zebras she's okay will have it. Come back in. Yeah. yeah. Zebras will have it, and. Burkett will have it now across the timeline. Randy Wynn, Tony Stacey, and glad you could join us here tonight from Rochester High School. Zebras find themselves down 14-10 to 10 here in the second quarter with four minutes to go before halftime. Ball's loose, picked up by Sweet, and, yep, Sid Hall is going to pick up her second foul, and Southwood's well, going to go to the line to shoot one in the bonus. I was just going to say, any time you have a situation like that where somebody goes down and the trainer comes out, watch the referee's whistle <laughs> because the last thing they want to see is yeah. The game get out of control and crowds get rowdy, so you are going to probably see a tighter whistle here uh, these next few minutes. Sweet at the free throw line, shooting one in the bonus. First one hard off the back of the iron. Lexi Thomas rips the rebound and hands it off to Hawes. Hawes will give it to Watson. She'll bring it across the timeline. Still 14-10 with 3.50 to go here before halftime. Watson picks up her dribble. Now to Burkett. Burkett left wing. Burkett dribbles back up top to Holloway. Holloway is going to be double teamed as she picks it up and gives it to Thomas. Thomas penetrates. Thomas goes to the hole. Layup up no good. Rebound Sid Hawes. She's going to go back up, but she's going to be fouled. And Sid Hawes will get to go to the line to shoot two. Shows you a little bit of the versatility of Sid Hawes. You know, usually she plays yeah. the guard spot, but with uh, Jackson and Millie on the bench, she's not afraid to mix it up inside, and that just shows you her value. Regardless of how many points she scores, her ability to play inside or outside really helps this team. Free throw on the way for 
Hawes, first one, rattles in home. Eaton back in for the Zebras, and Holloway will sit down, and back in the contest will be Wyatt. Why all things considered, for as, yeah. as poorly as we played, we're right there. Like, yeah. it's, this is one of those things, like, you know, we can come back and play kind of a normal game. We're in great shape. Sid Hall's second one's good as well. 14-12, to 12, now just a two-point deficit for the Zebras. And Kennedy Jackson back in for Sid Hawes. Three and a half to go here in the first half. Yeah, they haven't scored this quarter. Yeah. Zebras have only scored four, though. That's, right, yeah. That's what I say. They, their yeah. defense has kept them in. They just offensively can't capitalize too much. And Tip by Thomas. It goes out of bounds. It'll stay with Southwood. And no disrespect to Southwood, but it doesn't look like they run a lot of offense. It's more just right. a, a lot of screens and try to get the ball to Hopper. Yes, yeah. I mean, they, And that makes it hard to defend. Mm -hmm. Right. They, and they're clearly more comfortable up and yeah. down the court. Right. But the Zebras' defense has been pretty good at getting set and making them play a half-court game. And we're going to have a tie-up, and it'll go to the Zebras this time. It'll uh, be the Zebra basketball right in front of their own bench. And Southwood will drop back. No press this time. 3.09 to go here in the first half. 14-12. Zebras look to uh, possibly tie and take the lead here on this possession. Watson with the basketball. Watson in the corner. Up top now to Eaton. Eaton back to Watson. Trying to go down low to uh, Lexi, and they do, and they get a foul, and Lexi Thomas will go to the line to shoot one in the bonus. Yep, now both teams will be shooting free throws here the rest of the way. The last 2.53 of the first half. Coming in for the first time after, yep, there's the buzzer. From 23, Macy Barney, 5'8 uh, sophomore. She'll replace Clawson, who has two fouls. Lexi Thomas back in the line for one and the bonus. First one, no good. Rebound comes to Barney. She gives it off to Weiner. Weiner with the basketball. Weiner against Eaton. Weiner goes left side. Weiner to Hopperts. Hopperts on the right wing. Back to Weiner. Weiner goes to the block. Weiner kicks it back out to Sweet. Sweeter on the left side. Now off to Wyatt. Wyatt with the basketball. Has it tied up. It'll stay with Southwood. Yeah, this, this group on the floor for the Zebras, good communication. Yeah. I mean, they're they're making Southwood run half-court offense, and they're not comfortable with it. Southwood will inbound. They look to get it in. Into Wyatt, stolen by Thomas. But then she steps out on the out-of-bounds line as momentum took her out. It'll be Southwood basketball. Weiner will inbound. Weiner looking to get it in. Get it in to Bar Barney. Barney has it against Jackson. And she throws it away right into the hands of Lexi Thomas. Thomas to Watson. Zebra's trying to uh, tie it up again in this possession. To Eaton. Eaton on the right wing. Eaton has her pass deflected by Hopper. Hopper goes to the hole. Right hand layup. Up and good. 16-12. First field goal of the quarter. And only Hopper's fourth point. Quickly ahead to Thomas. To Watson. Three on the way. No good. Rebound, touched by Southwood, goes out of bounds. It'll stay with the Zebras. I was going to say, Jackson's got two fouls. She's <laughs> got to be really careful here. You don't want to pick up a cheap over-the-back call. Eaton comes out, Holloway back in. Minute 51 to go here in the first half. 16-12 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Inbounds comes to Thomas. Thomas goes up and good. 16-14. Thomas leads all scorers with eight. <laughs> Coming off the bench. Yeah. Good way to uh, good energy, good yeah. spark, right? That's yep. what you want from your senior leader, too. Minute 35 to the hole goes Southwood and Sweet. Rebound comes away to Burkett. Burkett with the basketball quickly ahead to Holloway. Down low to Jackson, up and good. We're tied at 16. This is more like the Zebras we've seen here the last couple weeks. 16 16. Here's Hopper. Throws it off the side of the backboard. Begging for a foul. She doesn't get it. Jackson with the basketball. Has it stripped by Sweet. Now Hoppert. Right hand layup. Up and good. 18-16. Smart Back. move by Jackson. Let her go. Don't yeah. even try to contest that at this point. Don't get that third foul. 60 seconds to go here before halftime. Burkett gets it across. She's double teamed. Now to Lexi Thomas. Thomas 
Free throw line extended. Kicks it out to Holloway. Back to Jackson. Free throw line extended. Good for Jackson. Tied at 18. Jackson's got four. Sweet with the basketball. Sweet against Burkett. Throws it into the hands of Riley Holloway, and she has it knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Zebras right in front of their own bench. 34.9 seconds remain before halftime. 18-18 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Normally I'd say work for the last shot, but I don't think South was going to allow that. <laughs> they got some pressure here. I, I think you just attack it and, and try to get the best shot that you can. Burkett against Hoppert. She's double teamed, splits the defense. Burkett out to Watson. Watson will hold. 24 seconds remain. Now they're going to kind of let you here have this last one, maybe, if the Zebras can take care of the basketball. Burkett, top of the key with 15. Burkett back to Watson with 12. Watson left wing. Gives it to Holloway, top of the key with 8. Back to Watson, 7. Down low to Jackson. Jackson goes to work. Right hand left. Good. Yep. Nobody that can handle that. And three quarter court shot at the buzzer is no good, and that's going to do it for the first half. At halftime, the Zebras take their first lead of the contest, 20-18 to 18 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. When we come back, it'll be the halftime show being brought to you this evening by Rice Lincoln of Warsaw, Giant FM, and RTC TV4. Next Saturday, the Rochester guys are at home with Logan Sport. The girls are on the road with Wabash. We will go to Wabash. So you're going to have to come to the gym, watch the guys, bring your radio, and listen to the girls. Yeah, Congrats to Caston and Pioneer yeah. beating Logan boys uh, yeah. this year for the first time in a long time. Yeah. So Get it out of the Berry Bowl. And <laughs> well, Caston won at the Berry yeah, Bowl last true. night. They did last night. They did yeah, win but you're right. Pioneer was able to win at home. Score zone with the basketball down low. Misses a shot. Gets her own rebound. Goes back up. Misses again. The ball's loose. Picked up by Hoppert. Hoppert and Southwood. One on three. Hoppert then is... Oh. Bumped oh. and no foul coming, and it'll yeah. be out of bounds. Last touch by Hoppert. Yeah, Watson kind of got away with a little reach. <laughs> yeah, a little. Okay. 7.34 to go here in the third. Southwood are going to go back to the little diamond or 1 2 2 press, whatever you want to call it. So let's see if the Zebras. Burkett with the basketball. They didn't Burkett. really turn it over a lot, but they didn't really run great offense against it either. Back to Watson. Watson will fire three from the corner in and out. No good. Rebound battled for last touched by, okay, saved by Southwood. Thought she was going to go out of bounds and saved it right into the zebra hand. Watson has it top of the key in a reach. It is called on Weiner. 50 seconds gone by. We got our first foul of the second half. Weiner's second. Nobody, Southwood really in foul trouble. Weiner's got two. Combs has two for Rochester. Jackson's got two scores. Owen's got two. Hawes has two. Burke at top of the key with the basketball. Zebra's still up 20 to 18 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Watson has it, goes to Jackson, oh, free throw line. Jumper on the way, no good. And Millie's going to go for her third foul. Yep. But uh, the way they're playing that zone, they're coming out and pressuring the guards. They're leaving some, the inside game. I thought the Zebras had some high low opportunities there on that possession. We'll see if uh, Southwood continues. To play that way and of course Millie's got three but it looks like coach Jennings is gonna keep her in for right now sweet with the basketball goes to Weiner Weiner back to Hoppert back to sweet back to hop or excuse me back, back to Dribble weave looks cool but you gotta get somewhere with it and sweet attempts to drive in and this is a shot they're gonna be fouled she'll go to the line to shoot Burkett's first team's second and so Sweet will go to the line to shoot, too. Opportunity here to tie it back up. First free throw on the way. Short up front. No good. 6.37 to go here in the third. Randy Wynn, Tony Stasiak. Glad you could join us. TRC action here at Rochester High School. Second one for Sweet is on the way. It's up and good this time. 20-19. to 19. Zebras lead. Jackson with it. Got to get somebody middle and then look opposite. To Jackson. Jackson to Holloway. She gets it across the timeline ahead to Burkett. Burkett with the basketball on the right wing. Burkett will dribble down in the corner. Picks up her dribble now to Watson. Watson back to Burkett in the corner. Score zone dives. Can't get it to her. Now they'll swing it left side to Jackson. Jackson back to Burkett. Three on the way. Good. Well, that's an unexpected source of yeah. a throw, three-pointer there for Cammie Burkett. 
23 to 19. She's 4 of 12, now 5 of 13 for the season out there. There's that dribble weave again. They kick it out this time to Wyatt. Wyatt will penetrate, goes down low. The shot up, no good by Clawson and scores own with the rebound. To Watson, ahead to Holloway. Holloway back to Watson. They'll reset the Zebra offense. Holloway left wing. Tries to go down low to Jackson at the block. Jackson, turn around, jumper up. No good. Rebound comes away to Wyatt. Wyatt. The last minute, Millie remembered her foul yeah. situation and backed off. It was close to having a over the back. To Weiner. Weiner on the right wing. Weiner. To the left side. Now to Wyatt. Back to Weiner. Weiner top the key against Holloway. Gives it off to Hopper to the volleyball line. Now they'll start the dribble weave again. Hopper goes right around this time. The screen pulls up. Jumper on the way. No good. Jackson with the rebound. Nope, goes to the Burkett. Jackson didn't pick it up. Burkett has it. Burkett yeah, carries it. Yep, she was trying to make that pass down low and the last minute decided not to. Yeah, that's why you don't like the pass off the dribble because when you change your mind, you can't yeah, go anywhere. Right. But if you jump stop, you still have all your options open. Score zone comes out. Jack, or excuse me, Lexi Thomas back in. Just under five to go here in the third. 23-19. Here goes the dribble weave again. And a travel this time by Sweet. Burkett slid in there in between, and they uh, wasn't able to get the handoff and calls the turnover. Combs comes back in for Southwood, and Hawes will come in for Zebras. Burkett will sit down. How's the football? Tide rolled. Tide rolled. Michigan and I was getting ready to start Cincinnati 1. So doesn't look like the Irish are going to make the playoffs. Top of the keys, Watson. Three on the way. Off the mark, no good. Guess what? Lexi Thomas cleans it up, puts it back up for two. Yep, Lexi's got doubles with 10. 25-19. Four and a half to go here in the third. Sweet with the basketball. Sweet goes to the hole. Sweet leaves it down low and a layup up and no good. Last touch by Southwood. Turnover for Southwood. Yeah. Well. Combs missed a wide open layup and... Southwood coaching staff, <laughs> not very happy well, with that one. Whereas you saw Rochester get frustrated in the first quarter, I think frustration set in for Southwood. They can't get it into yeah. the game they want to play right now. Sweet tips the Holloway pass and picked up now by Thomas. Thomas travels. Southwood's bound and determined to come after dribblers. So yeah. you have to know now that when you put the ball on the floor, there's going to be two or three people coming at you. That's where you've got to... Pick up a dribble and beat it with pass. Don't try to dribble through things, whether you're a guard or a post. Top of the keys, Hoppert. Hoppert picks up her dribble. Now it goes off to Weiner. Weiner in the corner. Weiner goes baseline. Weiner has the ball stripped, picked up by Holloway. Riley Holloway with the basketball. Now to Jackson, back to Holloway. Holloway to Lexi. Lexi travels, yep. She knew she did that time, and... Had the right idea, just didn't have the footwork uh, in the proper uh, spot to make that work. This game probably rust, right? Yeah. She's in a rhythm. You know, next week she probably makes that move. You know, because she's done that a lot. But when you're out of game rhythm, you make those mistakes. 25-19, still the zebra lead with three and a half to go here in the third. The give and go to Hopper down low, stolen by Jackson. Kennedy Jackson with the basketball. Jackson. Pulls up and gives it off to Thomas. Thomas, up and under, good. Also also with the left hand, like that. 27-19. On the way, a three ball off the mark, no good. Thomas with a rebound. Lexi Thomas gives it off to Watson. Watson on the left side. Watson to Holloway. Riley nice Holloway, pass. Jackson, good. Oh. Great things happen when yeah. you make the bounce pass. Yes. <laughs> yes. Timeout Southwood. It's a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here. 11 points, 6 rebounds. Okay. Needs 4 more for a double-double. Maybe that's what McDonald's should do. Double-double? Yeah. Double cheeseburger if Lexi <laughs> Thomas gets a double-double. <laughs> there you go. We'll start something new. And Southwood with the basketball after the timeout. Hoppert has it, dribbles right down to the corner. Hoppert dribbles the baseline. Out to Wyatt. Wyatt's three on the way, no good. Hawes with the rebound. Boy, they are limiting. It's one and done for Southwood yeah. when they get shots off. Zebra's doing a great job defensive rebounding tonight. 
Holloway with the basketball. Now to Watson. To Thomas, free throw line. He, she turns, throws it to Hawes. Her three ball on the way, no good. Rebound comes away to Southwood. Southwood and Weiner. Weiner goes to coast. Now gives it off. Sweet has it, right wing. Back to Weiner. Weiner will fire a three off the mark, no good. And this time, White well, gets in there for a rebound. Announcer jinx, I guess. <laughs> as soon as I compliment their defensive rebounding, they give up an offensive rebound. Weiner has it. Knocked loose. Ball's picked up. Lexi Thomas. 29, 19, under two to go here in the third. That Watson. zone's still wide open in the middle. Yeah. Not a Holloway. She's double team and tries to dribble out of it, and Weiner will uh, kick her knee out there and yeah. get called for the foul. Her third, team second. Burkett in, Jackson out. So what they've decided Southwood is coming after in their 2-3 zone, they're going to trap you on the sidelines, which is okay. You just have to recognize that, and if you can beat that with a pass, then you've got the numbers in the middle and on the opposite side of the floor. Watson, top of the key, right side now to Holloway. Holloway, down low to Thomas. Thomas, up and under, and good. Thomas. Six in the quarter, 13 for the game for Thomas. 31-19. Hopper trying to take control for Southwood, goes to the hole, and she's going to draw the foul. She'll go to the free throw line, and that'll be on Lexi. Just her first. That's what the Zebras have to understand, is especially off a of mate. They want to push tempo, yeah. right? You make a great move, that's fine, but you got to get sprint back in transition because they're coming after you. Uh, Southwood's really going to make an effort even more so now, I would think, to get the tempo going. Hopper, first free throw, good. Lily Eaton will come into the contest for Riley Holloway. Only Hopper, seven points. Again, she's averaging 20, but you don't want to get her confident, right? right? She got two in the first, four in the second. That's her first point of the third. She's got another two free throws for yeah. Hopper. Here comes that full court press again by Southwood. Burkett looking to get it in. Does to Watson. Watson double teamed. Cross court pass to Hawes. Hawes. Dribbles right back into traffic, but gives it off to Watson. Down low to Thomas. Lexi Thomas has it stripped, picks it back up, goes up for the shot, no good. Rebound, Lexi, but the ball goes out of bounds. 31-21, minute 17 to go here in the third. Zebras lead on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Hopper with the basketball right wing, trying to get everybody in the right position, penetrates. Loses her dribble, now picks it up and gives it off to Weiner. Weiner with the basketball against Hawes. Weiner brings it back to the middle to Wyatt. The handoff to Hopper. She can't handle it. She has to go fetch it down. Hopper with the basketball. Hopper, crossover, goes to the hole, throws up a shot, no good. And a foul coming. And again, Hopper just, yep. I don't want to say she's out of control. She's just trying to create things and get the Zebras to foul her and so far, so good for her. Well, as I said, she's a high-volume shooter. She's <laughs> got to get going if her team's got any chance. And as the score tends to do, she's going to try to get to the free throw line. If, if her shot's not going down, drive to the bucket, try to draw fouls, and she's successful at it right now. Another free throw good for Hopper. 31-22, 48 seconds to go. She's got a second free throw on the way. Free throw, good again. Eight minutes in Southwood's last field goal. Nice. They've got all free throws. This They've got five points, but they're all free throws. Touched out of bounds by Southwood. It'll stay with the Zebras on the far side. And now they'll pull back. 47 seconds to go. Zebra basketball. Eaton gives it to Watson. And Watson will bring it across the timeline with 40. Watson against Sweet. Now to Hawes. This reminds me a little bit of the, the Coach Burris 2-3 zone where they extend it and, and are very aggressive out, out front and on the sides with it. Try to go in the middle to Thomas. Stolen. Whoa. Stolen back by Hawes. Hawes on the left side. Gives it off to Burke with 20 seconds to Watson. Watson at the volleyball line. Watson. Then his double team. Goes to Burkett. Burkett with 13. Burkett will reset the offense with 10. Burkett comes to the near side. Burkett over the top to Lexi Thomas. Thomas, left-hand layup, no good. Rebound fought for it, comes away with Southwood. Southwood, sweet at the buzzer, no good. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. At the end of three, Zebras 31, Southwood 23. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, Giant FM and RTC TV 4. 
Fourth and final quarter here tonight. The Zebras lead at 31-23. Randy Wynn, Tony Stasiak, glad you could join us as we get ready to start the fourth quarter here on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Uh, after trailing 14-8 to eight after one, the Zebras <laughs> outscored them 12-4 in the second, and they just outscored them 11-5 in the third. So the Zebras have done a much better job making those adjustments after quarter one. Southwood with the basketball, gives it to Hopper. She'll go right to the hole, up off the glass. Good. After six in the first half, she's got 12 now. Jackson brings it across the timeline. Jackson right down the nice middle, scores pass. over the block, up and good. Good unselfish pass, and I liked it, the fact that it was a bounce pass. Yeah, like we always layup. said. Yep. Good things happen when you make the bounce pass. They tend to. <laughs> Hopper with the basketball up top. Hopper goes right side. Goes down low to Weiner. Weiner has the basketball, kicks it back out to Hopper. She thinks about a three, puts it on the floor instead. Now back to Weiner. Weiner right wing against Sid Hawes. Now to Sweet. Sweet with the basketball. Sweet to Wyatt. Wyatt trying to get it to Hopper. Ball's not loose. Stolen by Jackson. Kennedy Jackson with the basketball. Gives it off to Burkett. Seven minutes to go here in the fourth. Quickly down to Hawes to score zone. Nice. Layup up and no uh -huh. good. Rolls in and out. And Southwood comes away with the rebound. Wyatt looking to push for Southwood. Wyatt to Weiner. Weiner dribbles one time. Kicks it back out to Wyatt. She'll fire the three. Off the mark, no good. Sweet goes and gets the rebound. Layup up, no good, but a foul coming. And I believe that's going to be on Burkett. Burkett's second. Team's fifth. Team has got caught watching there. Yep. So Sweet will go to the line. Sweet's averaging nine for the year. She's got seven so far. She had those early, too, yep. right? Free throw rolls in for Sweet. Riley Holloway back into the contest for the Zebras. She'll replace... Burkett. 6.44 to go here in the fourth. 33-26 now on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Sweet has one more. Good this time as well. 33-27. Full court press here on for the Southwood. Holloway will break it. Holloway splits the defenders right down to Hawes. Kicks it back out to Holloway. Three on the way for Riley off the mark. No good. Rebound to Wyatt. Wyatt quickly up ahead. Wyatt. To Sweet, into the corner, back to Sweet. Sweet, fire a three, off the mark, no good. Rebound, last touch, Southwood. Coach Jennings made the comment that they averaged like 26 attempts from the three-point line, thus Southwood. And I don't think they've quite probably averaged that yet tonight, but uh, they're looking for that three to try to get back into this thing quickly. Well, that's the thing. You know, sometimes you get to a 6-8 point lead in the fourth and you can feel pretty decent. But this team, with the way they press and shoot the three, you cannot let your foot off the gas. But you also got to make good, smart, fundamental plays. Watson has it now across the timeline. Watson at the volleyball line again. Sweet. Coming to the near side now to Holloway. Holloway double teamed in the corner. Gives it to Watson. Watson go to the hole. Layup up good. Nice job by Watson to recognize the open lane. Puts it in for two, 35-27. Hopper with the basketball. Hopper will bring it down. Stop, pop, nope. Goes down low and to Wyatt. And last touch by Southwood. Fun fact, that's Watson's first point since the McConaughey game. But she's been playing well, right? She has Her role has changed, yeah. right? Like, you know, defensively tonight, handle the ball, getting the offense started. Uh, her value is not necessarily in scoring for this team right now. Thomas in, scores own, sits down. Jackson has, or Holloway has a pass stolen by Hopper. Southwood, Weiner up, no good. Rebound, ball's loose on the floor and still loose. Southwood picks it up. Wyatt has it to Weiner, to Sweet, three on the way, no good. Weiner with the rebound. Weiner to Hopper, she'll fire three, good. Man, that's a good looking shot, great angle there. Not for Zebra fans, but... As a shooter, nice view. That was a good stroke. Coach Jennings wants a timeout. It's a 60-second timeout with 5-11 to go here in the contest. Zebras with just with a five-point lead, 35-30 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Back with more Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4. We'll have it to go the distance. Full court press again by Southwood. Jackson inbounds to Holloway. Whoa. Holloway to Thomas, and Thomas didn't go where Holloway thought she was, and Turnover yep. Zebras. First quarter, the momentum was riding with the Lady Knights. Second, third quarter, 
She was on the Lady Zebras bench, and right now she's uh, riding with the Lady Knights. 35-30. Five to go here in the fourth. Hoppert with the basketball. Hoppert. Hoppert still has it on the outside. Hoppert on the right wing. Hoppert trying to get it three open. Can't do so. Nice defense by Watson. Hoppert just inside the three this time. Air balls it. Saved by Southwood into the hands of Burkett. Burkett with the basketball to Jackson. Jackson quickly ahead to Thomas. Thomas. Good fake. Gives the fake as they go for the block, and Thomas has two more. 37-30. Thomas has 15. Hoppert has 15. Those are two leading scores. Hoppert has the basketball at the volleyball line. Hoppert. Back to Swede. Here comes that dribble weave again. Burkett jumps it, and a jump ball, and it's Zebra basketball. Yeah, good decision. You kind of bait them into it. They're just trying to kind of lull you to sleep, but, you know, you give them a different action than they're not used to, and you turn the tables and get a nice turnover for the Lady Zebras. Seven-point Zebra lead with 4.20 to go here in the fourth. Full court press again. Burkett goes around Hopper. Good lead in the corner to Holloway. Three on the way for Riley. Good! Back Holloway to second three, her first one since the first quarter. Lady momentum starting to ease her way yeah. back to the zebra bench. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hopper with the basketball. Jump ball is going to stay with Southwood. Great defense that time by Riley Holloway tying up Hopper. Four yep. minutes exactly to go here in the fourth. It's a good spark here since the timeout by the Lady Zebras. Southwood looking to inbound. They get it into Wyatt. Wyatt has the basketball. Top the key at the volleyball line. Almost stolen by Jackson. Goes to Hopper. Hopper to the hole, throws it down low, tipped by Rochester, picked up by Thomas. Lexi Thomas gives it off to Watson, and she'll bring it across the timeline. 10 points, zero lead, 40 30. Burkett with the basketball. Burkett gets it to Thomas. Thomas goes to work and gets a foul. She'll go to the line to shoot two. You know, the one thing we haven't mentioned tonight, and uh, sitting down here on the bench, two young ladies that unfortunately. Uh, Season ended early for both of them. They both have had their surgery, but they're here tonight cheering on the Lady Zebras. It's good to see Maddie Heinzman and Emma Hottishell here. Yeah, just a different role, right? They're, yeah. not, they're not seniors, so they, they still have opportunities to play not just basketball, but their other sports. I know they also both play softball, and uh, Heinzman's a runner, and Hottishell plays soccer uh, to get that opportunity to continue to play. Hopefully it's a quick rehab. And, yep. uh, I don't know if their spring season's are in question, but if nothing else, come back next fall healthy. Lexi Thomas hits both free throws. Yance into the contest. And nobody wants to, Southwood. but, you know, sometimes you just pick up things watching, yeah. you know, still being a part yep. of the team, you're kind of your coach now. Three on the way for Hopper off the mark this time. Riley Holloway with the rebound. Got another set of eyes for Coach Jennings. Over the top to Thomas. Thomas catches, kicks it back out. They go to Jackson. Jackson goes to the hole, throws up a shot, no good. Gets her own rebound, up no good, but a foul coming. And Kennedy Jackson will go over the line to shoot two. Well, a lot of times when you're in, when you're coming out of a game when you're playing, you like to say, well, you can watch what you learn. But, you know, you're thinking about the mistake you just made or what you're going to do when you go in next. But, you know, when you know you're done for the season, it's a whole different perspective. Nobody yeah. wants it. You don't want to wish that on anybody, but... Uh, maybe come back a little mentally, just learn more about the game and yeah. be a different type of player when you come back. Free throw no good by Jackson. She's got another one. Second one on the way. Good this time. 43-30. 13 points. Zebra lead on the Rochester glass scoreboard. Hoppert with the basketball. Hoppert top the key. Hesitation. Step back. Now she'll come to the near side. Hoppert to Wyatt. She'll bomb a three off the mark. No good. Thomas with another rebound. She got double-double yet. Holloway with it. Holloway to Watson. Watson dribbles out of the double team. and goes to Lexi nice Thomas. Cut. Up and good. Nice assist by Watson. Yeah, 19 now for Thomas. Hopper trying to make something happen. Goes to Yance. Yance has it stolen by Holloway. Great steal. Holloway will get it across the timeline and... She'll go right at the Southwood Knights, and now she'll retreat and give it back to Watson. Back to Holloway. Three on the way off the mark. No good. Burkett with a rebound. Bring it back out. You don't have to be in too much of a hurry. About two minutes to go. You're up 15. Down low to Thomas. Thomas up off the glass. No good. And Burkett's going to pick up a push in the back, and that's going to be her fourth, I believe. Nope, her third. Just third. Okay. 
Team six, so it'll be next one will be a bonus for Southwood. 2.14 to go in the fourth quarter. Why, or excuse me, Weiner will bring it across the timeline. Weiner has it against Holloway. Weiner trying to get it to Hopper. They finally do. Now Yance with it. Yance has the basketball. Yance top of the key to a cutting sweet. Sweet trying to get to the block. Can't do so. Keeps it back out to Weiner. Weiner will fire a three on the way. No good. Rebound tipped loose and the ball still on the ground. Picked up by Sweet. And a foul coming against the Zebras. A couple different. I'm not sure who that might be on. And nope. that one is on Burkett. Now she's got four. And it's a 17 foul. So South will shoot here the last 146. Hopefully it doesn't hurt too much. Burkett comes out. Hawes comes in. Because you never want to foul. Send teams a free throw line when you have a lead and let them score when the clock is stopped. Minute 46 to go here in the contest. 45-30. Free throw. No good. Rebound. Tipped around. Jackson finally comes away with it. Off to Watson. Watson. Then it's fouled by Sweet. For second, team's four, so Zebras aren't shooting free throws. Looks like they're going to switch to a man. Uh, probably have to go for the steal or foul because the Zebras are not shooting yet. And then Watson. Watson in the backcourt. Now she'll bring it across the timeline. Watson has it. Looks like Zebras are going to try to uh, kill some clock here. Yeah. It's <laughs> minute and a half. Watson, or excuse me, Hawes, throws it in the backcourt. Pick it up. And yeah. up there, she got it touched, and it'll be over in the back. Southwood will have it on the right. far sideline. You at least want to make sure you go after it to kill it so you can at least set your defense. You right. don't want to let, like Hoppert was chasing after Hart. She picks it up, and you get in an uncontested layup. You certainly don't want to do that. Southwood looking to inbound it. They do. They get it into Clawson. Clawson to Weiner. Weiner has it stripped, picked up by Sweet. Sweet with the basketball. Sweet to Hoppert. Hopper then is fouled, and she'll go back to the line to shoot one and the bonus. That was going to be a Hawes, her third. Team's eighth, so Hopper to go to the line. She's got 15. She's four for four from the line. She shot all four of those in the third quarter. Minute six to go here in the contest. Free throw good again by Hopper. 45. Right around that average of 20, but yeah. Watson's made her work for every one of them. 45-31. Second one good again. Jackson to inbound. Zebra's looking to break the press. They get it into Hawes. Hawes tries to go over the top of Sweet, and it goes right back into Hawes' hands. Hawes to Holloway, and they'll bring it back out with under a minute to go. Watson holds. Watson now is defending. And she'll bring it up the timeline. Over the top to Lexi. Back to Holloway. Holloway with 47. Holloway has a ball tipped by Hopper. Picked up by Sid. Sid has the basketball quickly up the head to Holloway. Holloway with it. Tries to go to Lexi. There she gets it. Back to Watson. 30 seconds remain. Watson with the basketball. Watson picks up her dribble. She's going to have to hurry, and there she does. Gets it off to Sid Hawes, and Sid's going to be fouled. Only the team's sixth. Zebras will hold on with 22 seconds to go, 45-32. And they'll move to 2-1 and one in the TRC. Well, they all can't be Picassos, but, <laughs> hey, conference games yeah. and tournament games, you just want to win, right? Not a lot of style points in those. Watson with it to Holloway, 15 seconds left. Holloway around the screen, and Holloway is going to be fouled by Hoppert. And now Holloway will go to the line to shoot one and the bonus. 11.9 seconds to go. Holloway, sorry, Holloway's got six. She's got a three in the first and a three in the fourth. Coming up to the conclusion of tonight's game, the post game, brought to you by Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins. And Tony and I will have the difficult decision of player of the game as well. Ten seconds to go. Stolen by Holloway after she misses the free throw and then knocked out of bounds by Hoppert. 45-32 with 5.9 seconds. 
Again, we'll have the player of the game by Manitou Moose Family Fun Center. Zebra 6 for 11 from the line tonight. Watson gets it in. And a 3, 2, 1, and that's the contest. The Zebras win it tonight, 45-32 on the Rochester Glass Scoreboard. When we come back, again, the post game tonight being brought to you by Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins, the law firm built for your current and future legal needs. Zebras win it, 45-32. Back with more after this, Giant FM 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4.